Welcome back to YouTube How To. This is your guide, Andrea Dean. Today I'm going to show you how to easily promote your YouTube channel for free. I'm not going to take you on any wild goose chases that you're going to see in all these other videos, probably here on YouTube and on the internet. Tried, true, and proven ways to help you spend less time on social media so that you can actually grow your business, grow your channel, make some money, and help some people. So let's get into it really quickly. So I'm going to show you here in the back end where you can find your external traffic sources. This is super important so that you know whether what you are doing or where you are sending people or where you are spending your time is actually working for you. I will show you at the end how to do this on your phone as well. You're gonna to go to Customize Channel. And then you're gonna go over to the left-hand side. Let me move this over just a little bit here for you quickly. You're gonna to go to Analytics. And then what I want to do is I want to go to reach. And if I scroll down here, it says traffic sources. And you can see the external is 3.6% on this brand new channel right here. I think this channel is maybe a couple weeks old. And then if I scroll down a little bit more, it says traffic sources external. You want to pay attention to this, especially if you are spending time on things outside of YouTube. You need to make sure that what you're doing actually is translating. You can see here my number one traffic source is Google search. 33.3%. Percent. So I'm going to show you a little trick here too. And second, Facebook, 16.7% of my traffic is coming from Facebook. Crazy, right? I know. So let's pop over to something here really quickly. I'm going to take you into my cleaning channel. I wanted to give you an example of something that will be helpful to you. And I'm going to talk about three different strategies here today to actually grow your YouTube channel using some external sources. So let's go to this cleaning channel right here. This is my biggest channel thus far if you are brand new here. And I'm going to go to the face of this channel. And let's go to videos. And I'm going to show you a video that grew really fast. And in fact, one of, one of the subscribers on this channel had said, hey, I found your video on such and such thing. So let me scroll down and show you where that particular video is. This one right here, fastest way to clean your tub and shower at 41,000 views at two weeks ago. Guys, look at these views compared to all of my other videos. Yes, yes. So how did I do this? What happened? This is your number one strategy if you are going to use an external source to drive traffic to your YouTube channel. You may know this, but Google owns YouTube. So let me open an incognito window here so that we can have an accurate representation of things. Let's just go into Google. And let's just put how to clean a bathtub. What pops up here? A video, a video, a video, a video. This is why video and optimizing here on Google is so important. Then you'll scroll down a little bit further. We got Molly Made, we got Home Depot, and then we got more videos. And lo and behold, here's another one of my tub cleaning videos. So how do you find videos that could translate from Google into YouTube? Easy, if you go into Google, let's just type in trending and you can go to Google Trends and you can see what particular people are searching for um, based on your particular niche or channel. So again, this is why it's very important to niche. So you could pick any topic like how to clean, let's just do this. I'm not gonna give you a whole tutorial on Google Trends, but this is just to give you an idea. Um, here are some related topics, here are some related queries. Um, I did do a video on how to clean this N95 mask and that's how I got the video right here. I did do a video on how to clean strawberries and that's where I got the idea right here. So if you're gonna spend any time on an external source to grow your YouTube channel and monetize more quickly, it is here, right here on Google. I cannot emphasize that enough. One of my mottos that I say here is the more time that you're scrolling the less time that you are growing. My goal is to keep you off social media. That is my goal, even though you're building an online business. 
Second, we saw that the next source of my traffic was Facebook. You all, I don't use Facebook. The only reason that I use Facebook is because I do have a private Facebook group. It's called the Unstoppable Women in Business. But my, I'm 35, and most of the people in my age range are still operating on Facebook. I prefer to use Instagram. And I didn't realize how much traffic was actually coming from Facebook. And again, I don't promote on Facebook. Let me just show you a page that I have here. I have it automatically set up. It's Andrew Jean Entrepreneur. So any of my Instagram posts post to here on Facebook. So that's how people are somehow finding my videos. Well, this video I just posted here to Facebook and I'm going to show you how to do this. And I have not done this for months. I'm telling you months. So I got all this traffic coming from Facebook, yet I'm not doing anything with Facebook. What would happen if I accidentally if I actually double down on this approach. Yes, pretty awesome. So let's do it right here. It's already reached, um, I just did this right now, probably about five minutes ago. It already reached five people and there's one engagement. All right, so go into any particular YouTube video that you might wanna promote. So let's go ahead and do it right now. I'm gonna switch accounts. I'm gonna go into, let me just close out of this cleaning channel right here. I will go to this YouTube how-to channel and let me show you how to promote this onto Facebook. You could do it on a personal, your personal Facebook page, or you can do it on a business page like you saw there for my Andrew Jean Entrepreneur. What you're going to do here is I'm going to promote um, how to make a second YouTube channel right here. This is the one that I'm going to promote onto Facebook. Again, I don't have to use Facebook in a capacity outside of this, but let me just post the video and see what happens. I'm already getting so much traffic from it. So what you're going to do is this is the video that I want to promote. I'm going to go ahead and click share. And then I have lots of options here. You could share the link with somebody specifically, but I'm going to do Facebook. And then it's going to open up right here. So here I can share to newsfeed or story. I don't want to do that. I want to share on a page that I manage. So it's going to post to Andrew Jean Entrepreneur. This is the thumbnail, and I can say something about this video. And actually, let's, uh, I want to, I don't want to do this one. Sorry, guys, bear with me. Um, I want to do, let's go to this here. Now, I'm going to be very choosy about the specific videos that I post on my Facebook page. I want to do videos that I think an audience would be more drawn to then watch. I'm gonna do this one right here, how to start a successful YouTube channel. It's also one of my longer videos here and I think it's one of my more in-depth ones. So let's go ahead and click share, Facebook. All right, again, I'm gonna change this to page you manage, but you could do it on your personal feed, whatever you wanna do. I'm gonna put something like, here are some super helpful tips when getting started with YouTube. Let me, maybe I'll just do that. Maybe I'll just do the link here. Here are some super helpful tips when getting started on YouTube. So I have it here, but I'm also going to take the link, copy it, just because I want to be sure that they get where they need to go. Here are some super helpful tips when getting started with YouTube. Then I'll say like click here. Again, there's no rhyme or reason. The less you write, the more. Here's my call to action. Click here. So now I'm just going to post to Facebook. And we'll check it out here. All right, let's go back over to Facebook. Let me refresh the screen here. And we'll scroll down here. And here's this, here is the uh, video from YouTube. Here are some super helpful tips when getting started with YouTube. Click here. And so I could click these three dots and then I could pin it to the top of my page, which I will do. My Facebook friends here. <laughs> Again, I don't check anything, my inbox, my notifications or nothing. Um, there's only so many hours in the day, so I have to use my time wisely at this point. So um, I'm strictly using it for driving traffic because I keep hearing that people want me to post stuff onto Facebook. So that's what we are going to do. Okay, so if you're not using Facebook, use Facebook. Yes, yes, yes. 
and I just refreshed the page here. So then here is this newest post that will show up on the feed as it relates to Andrea Jean Entrepreneur. So number one, Google, Google, Google. Do not waste your time in extraneous apps that people are probably going to recommend to you. Google is where it's at. Next, use Facebook. If people are using Facebook, I, depending upon your age range and that sort of thing, I mean, it's free advertising, which is completely awesome. <laughs> I cannot stress that enough. And as we saw there from my external sources of traffic, I'll show you um, on the phone how to do that as well, that it was already coming from Facebook and I wasn't even doing anything about it. So why not double down on that? The third thing, let me show you in this description box right here. Really close to the top, I have a star. It says, want freebies and exclusive offers. Sign up for my weekly newsletter. You all, if you are running an online business, YouTube, whatever the case may be, Instagram, you need to be capturing people's email addresses because you don't own YouTube. You don't own Instagram. YouTube could shut down tomorrow and all the subscribers that you have, all the followers that you have, you would have no way of contacting them and continuing on with your business. Now I can do a whole separate video about opt-in offers, but you need a way to capture people's email addresses. And so I do giveaways. I share behind the scenes of building this business right here as I go from corporate um, to fully self-employed as an entrepreneur. And I think currently I have around six to 700 people a part of my email list that I, that I email out. Now I'm currently doing it through MailChimp and it's completely free, but you can see here, um, I just sent this one out today. Uh, last week, or I've kind of been doing bi-weekly, just depends on what I want to talk about. But I had 73 opens, 14 clicks, because I do include some YouTube videos at the bottom of the uh, newsletter, or if there's a really helpful video, I will put it at the top. But again, it's sharing nuggets to help you on your own entrepreneurial journey. Um, I shared a post-it wall that I've been making 96 clicks, opens, 14 clicks. So these clicks add up, especially if you are a small channel and you are just growing. So not only are you getting external traffic from having a newsletter and maybe posting some of your videos in there, again, you don't want to just bombard people um, with things. Let me just open this one up here. You want to give them good nuggets. You don't always want it to be about me, 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 watch my video, watch my video, um, because that's not really that helpful to people um, <laughs> because it just comes back to you. Yes, your video can be helpful to people, but ultimately you want to give people good, good value. And I think at the end of the day, when you are doing that, um, the proof is in the pudding. Okay, let me open this one again here. So here's the copy of one of the newsletters that I sent out. Um, I had been getting questions on Instagram about how I manage a full-time career and do my business as well as having four children. So what I did is in this newsletter is I posted my schedule Sunday through Wednesday, Thursday for, to Friday to give people some ideas about things that have been working um, for me in my life. And then just little nuggets um, mixed with bits of humor because that's just, that's how I operate in life. And then you can see here in the bottom, I put these videos down here. Check out these videos for inspiration from each of my channels if someone wanted to click on them. So I don't lead with this sort of thing. Um, there's no right way, there's no wrong way to do this, but I do think just put people's value and their time at the forefront of everything that you do and it will pay off tenfold because you ultimately want to be helping people and in return, they'll be more likely to return to your channel and want to hear what you have to say um, in terms of how you can help them. So one, Google, 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 Google. Do not waste your time on all these extra dumb apps. You need to get off of the internet and social media when you want to grow. If you are scrolling, you are not growing. <laughs> I spend very limited time on social media unless I'm researching. And then you want to have some sort of newsletter or opt-in offer to stay connected with your audience. If you focus at least on these three traffic sources, which are completely free, by the way, you're going to be doing very, very well. Not only are you going to be growing, but then you are capturing people in the long run that would want to maybe um, subscribe or hear more, or maybe you launch a course or a new product down the road because you have been engaged with them uh, bi-weekly or every week outside of social media. You build trust with your audience. You build a connection. You get feedback more quickly. Now, some of you might be asking me about Instagram because I do promote my videos across Instagram. Do I get traffic from Instagram? 
Not that I am aware of. There is a section on the phone that will say Chrome app, so maybe potentially traffic is coming from there or um, from the Android phones. Um, but I don't think my posting on Instagram is really doing anything, so I'm definitely going to reduce um, promoting my videos on Instagram, at least at this point. So the proof is in analytics. Reduce promoting on Instagram because this does take time. Um, I think what happens is people are on Instagram. They want to be on Instagram. They're not going to come into an app like YouTube and leave that platform um, to then come watch my vid video. Now, it may spark something in their mind like, hey, I saw this video uh, of Andrea Jean spark interest for later, um, but people are not coming in through Instagram. Now, if I had the swipe up option, I think you need 10,000 um, followers on Instagram. That may be different, but at this point in my Instagram page, there's just too much friction that people have to go through to watch one of my YouTube videos through the Instagram app. And I'll just show you here really quickly. And business is all about reducing friction. And what that means is you have to make it super simple for people to do things. So let me just show you. So if I post about a video, it's going to be in a link and I say, go to my um, profile page and people can click on here. But again, they have to take these extra steps. And then here are all my YouTube channels. So that's like one click, two click, three click. It's just not as easy for people. Again, if I had the swipe up option, it may be different, but I, I don't necessarily know that. So these are the big, big ones that I would focus on for growing an engaged audience. And it be I just I'm just super excited. The proof's in the pudding when it comes to analytics on these sort of things. And when you find something that is working for you, double down. I cannot stress this enough. Double quadruple down on that. All right. If we are not friends on Instagram, why don't you come on over? Say hello at Andrea Jean Co. I teach you how to turn your passion into profit and I share real numbers with you. I'm a no BS kind of woman here and I like to keep it real and really help you on your journey because that makes me feel like I'm doing my job in life. I'm a licensed mental health professional and I went into the business to help people, but now I get to do it in my own fun, creative way, which is like this as I move from corporate to being fully self-employed here. Uh, very soon, which is exciting. So I appreciate you for being here. Thank you so kindly. And I'll see you, my friend, in the next one.